Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be going over how to run our genome sequence through a program called BUSCO, which stands for Benchmarking Universal Single Copy Orthologs, and it's a way to get quantitative measures of um, how complete our genome is compared to different data sets that they have. Um, okay, so to start we're going to, first things first, uh, I've also made another uh, little tutorial here in our github lab um, and so here's the command to reserve a machine in the cluster i'll go ahead and do that and um, this program has a lot of moving parts it relies on several other programs um, it relies on python and cbi blast uh, another program called Hammer, and it also relies on Augustus. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong, and um, so if you do have trouble, I've added this troubleshooting portion down here. Javier helped me troubleshoot through a lot of this. I wouldn't have been able to get this done without him. So if you can't figure it out at first, don't get frustrated. It is pretty um, complicated process but um, hopefully this video will help and hopefully the tutorials will help and so first off um, we've got we went ahead and wrote the script um, but what we're going to want to do first is we need after we've reserved our uh, machine we need to do bash um, and then this changes to my 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 username here and we're going to see where we're at um, we want to move to the directory that we want our output to be into, so we're going to cd to busco. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and put the, um, the output of this run into this directory here. So let's go ahead and here's the script that's written out, written out previously. We'll copy it. And I'll paste it and then I'll explain what it does. So busco.py, that's the Python code. Um, dash i, this is our scaffolds, uh, this is our genome file here and the path to that. Um, this is the folder of the data sets that we need for busco. And it's, um, can be downloaded at their website here. For our particular scenario, we, we did a, we're doing Esmosiva, so we did uh, fungi and then um, Ascomyce, Ascomycota, because um, it's an Ascomycete. So that was that's the data set we're comparing our genome against. Then after that, um, dash O like is output like usual, and then we're just going to call ours um, or Busco. Um, we'll call it two because I think I've ran this before. And then dash m geno, I can't remember that command exactly, but it's in the manual, uh, the Busco manual user guide, which can also be found at their website here. So yeah, so let's go ahead and run this command and see if it works. Okay, and it does look like it's running. This usually takes um, maybe like four to six hours, um, but I'll go ahead and show you the output. Um, after it's completed, it will give you a nice little, um, well, that's one that's currently running right now. It'll give you this nice output that tells you um, different statistics. Um, and the, these are the main things that you might want to look for and might want to make a graph out of. And if you see later on, um, I have a table here that I'm making and after you've ran the program, you can also use Busco. The directions are here to make a graph like this to show your results as well. So yeah, that was a quick video. Hopefully that helps and um, yeah, thank you.